please welcome the always fetching Selma Hayek, ladies and gentlemen. favorite so you always toy with me but I, it's for you I wear this little yes, dress I know, it's for you not little enough but good enough yeah. <laughs> how you been things I've are been good good yes things are great the dogs how are the dogs ah oh, the dogs yeah, he... are crazy as usual They're like your entourage now right? they are yes yeah. they go everywhere with yeah, me yeah, yeah. and uh, they make my life uh, very happy and very complicated really are they temperamental are they very temperamental really and there's a lot of them, so everybody has a different personality. Well, how many do you have? Six. Six? Mm hmm But I only travel with, with four. Oh. Well, that's going to cause problems at home. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. They, 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 it causes problems when I travel, and it causes problems when they stay home. One time I took them to a location, and they disappeared for a second, and there was a wedding. They ate the wedding cake. Ah. And then, but if I leave them at home, and... Uh, you know, they get very upset when I go away. They do all kinds of different things. I mean, one of them, Lupe, which is the alpha, right. and she does things like, okay, I'm back, and she, you know, talks at me. Why did you leave all this stuff? I can't understand dog talk. Yeah. And then, um, you know, when I go to sleep, I, I usually cuddle with them in bed. Really? And she will not sleep with me the first night, and she does, doesn't let anybody else get on that bed. None of the other dogs oh. can get on that bed either because they are on strike as I left. Oh, I'm really? Really? Yes. Wow, this seems like a very complicated ritual, all of this. Yes. Now, you see, like, my cat knows if the suitcases are by the door, the cat knows, oh, you're going away, and then we'll, we'll disappear for the whole day. Did they, you, do they know be, oh, uh, before you're yes, going to leave? They, yeah. they do drama, they cry, they roll around. See, they, I wonder where they picked that up. <laughs> <laughs> they get depressed under the bed. They do all kinds of yeah. things. Or they eat the furniture because they get an anxiety attack. Well, you got to leave food out for them. That's what you have to no, do. No, no. I oh. keep people for them, but oh, they okay. still destroy something. And, and they have opinions about your clothes? Is that Oh, correct? yes. I have one, Angie. Angie. When I'm on a set and there's like an outfit that she doesn't like, she, you know, puffs and gets angry and won't let me touch it. And then I take it off and she's fine. Oh. She's, opi she's fashion opinionated. I would be the dog. same way, actually. <laughs> Once you take it off, I'm fine. I bitch and moan. And I just take it off. Oh, it's off. It's great. Now, now, speaking of, now, what do you do when you have a date or men come over? Uh, do men get jealous when, uh, you know, I mean, like, if, if they put their arms, do the dogs are protect protective that way? Yeah, I gotta say, you know, I, I gotta, if I find another guy, it's gotta be someone who really likes dogs. Well, I guess so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because they, they, yeah, they can create right. some problems. Well, I don't know how to put this. Um, well, let's say you have a gentleman caller come by who stays uh -huh. rather late. <laughs> <laughs> Did the dogs, you know, are they outside the door? <laughs> you know. They never leave the room. What are you oh, talking really? about? <laughs> What I mean, if you were the guys of the dogs. <laughs> no, but what are you? What makes you think that they? You know, you don't want to get a pointer. That's real bad. What? Guys hate that. What? What makes you think that I let the guy in the room? Well, I don't know. I just. Uh, just no, you're a beautiful I, woman. You I've could been, have a date. I've been single for a long time. Really? I manage well with, with my what? life and really? the dog. You, and... So no, you're not not dating anybody. No. Really? But if, let's say a guy comes over who's not a boyfriend, just come are they protective of you that way? You know, will they, they, will they growl at them? Yeah, so. well, sometimes, like, somebody will take their shoes off and they put them right at the door. Yeah. Like, it's a hint. Oh, the dogs put yes. their shoes at the door? Yes. Wow. <laughs> They've done that. But sometimes they're very friendly. Like, for example, yeah. my blue likes to dance salsa. The dog likes to dance I, I salsa? I have a dancing salsa dog. Okay. And if he hears the music, yeah. he just needs to dance. So. You know, I've had parties with friends, and if he hears the salsa, he just jumps on people and starts dancing. He gets on you, and he starts moving his butt like this. But it, it's only with salsa. Salma, I think you got to get out more. <laughs> Look, let's take a break. More with Salma Hyde right after this. Be right back. <laughs>
Uh, Salma Hayek, uh, Ask the Dusk is her, is her new movie. Now, I, I gotta ask you now, we were talking, and you, you said you had a joke, and then you didn't want to tell it, and then you want to tell it. No, I, I told I, you the joke, and you, you told me I should tell uh, it. You should tell, but you were fighting. How many would like to hear the joke? Robert Town, the director of the movie, called me to tell me this joke, and I thought okay. it was very funny. It was, um, there are three guys in a, in, a, in a steam room. One is a Mexican, one is a Japanese, and one is a German. So they're sitting there naked, and the German guy, uh, we hear this beep, 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 and the German goes, oh, I'm sorry, and presses his arm, and then starts pressing his arm, and goes, oh, sorry about that. It's just that in Germany, we are so advanced that we have chips that go in the arm to get text messages, and I just got one. Oh, okay. So now there is a phone ring, and the Japanese goes, excuse me. And he goes like this, starts talking, I know, I know, I know in Japanese, to the, to the hand. <laughs> and he says, I'm sorry, you know, I just got a phone call, because in Japan we are so advanced, you know, that we have a chip in the hand, and you can just talk on the phone. And the Mexican is feeling really bad, because we don't have this kind of technology in Mexico. And he needs to go to the bathroom, and he goes to the bathroom, and he said, and on his way back, he realizes he's got some toilet paper stuck to his butt. <laughs> and he goes, ooh, I'm sorry, I think I just got a fax. <laughs> You that you back should, there. You should do stand up, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, did you meet Apollo, the skater? I did? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, he's hot. And you know what? He's got all these medals. He's yeah. got a whole collection in there. They're so pretty, they're very big. Yeah. Now, are you an athletic type person? Do you do a lot of athletics? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not now, but when I was a little girl, I was athletic. Really? In what way? I did gymnastics. Oh, okay. Yes. Were you any good? Were you good at it? Yes, I was really good at it. Really? Really good at it. I, mean, I, I, know, I know I was good. I'm not just bragging because um, there was not really gymnastics in my little town. So my father took me to Mexico City during yeah. the summer. Yeah. And um, I did so well in these classes that I got drafted for the Olympics. Really? Yes. Well, how old were you? I was about eight, nine. Wow. And, uh, but then we, I would have had to go into a boarding school in Mexico City and, um, and do like eight hours of training and right, special right. food. And my father didn't let me stay because he wanted me to have a normal childhood. Well, that, that's probably a good thing. Do you regret that? Do you wish you had done it, do you think? Yes, I, I, I do a little. And when I was looking at those medals that Apollo had, I said, hmm. <laughs> I could have had one of those when I was 13. Well, you, you know. know. But um, I didn't. But you could get one tonight. I, play your I have other things. <laughs> I have other things. <laughs> yeah, now, do you the, still work out? Are you athletic? Do you no, run? No, 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 no. no. Why don't you work out? Because, I mean, that's so Hollywood. Everybody who goes I am the not very Hollywood. No, no. No. I find it just uh, boring, and if I go on a diet and I work out, I'm always in a bad mood, and yeah. I get very bitchy when I'm not eating. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what yeah. I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'd rather be a little, you know, heavier, but nice. Yeah, no, no, it's... <laughs> that's you get, no, 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 you, see, you're perfect. I agree with that 100%. See, that I think good. guys like that better. Yeah. Am I yeah. right? Exactly, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, so it's, very you know, it, it's really it. true because the only one that looks at these skinny girls in the magazines are other girls. Like, oh, I want to look like that. You know. And they're in a bad mood a lot sometimes because yeah. yeah. they don't eat. Yeah. They don't eat a lot. The ones that don't eat at all, then you talk to them and they, they can't really hear you because they have no nourishment right. in their brain. Well, I mean, you look great in, in Eat the Dust. It was a big... Eat the Dust. I mean, yeah, I mean, Eat the Ass the Dust. We're talking about eating. Not eat the dust, ask the dust. That's a good one. Eat the dust, eat the dust. <laughs> well, we're talking about eating. Will you stop it? First, first it was the two, the two cats yeah. and the girl. She has two cats. I got that. Yeah, we go. Oh, oh, oh. I eat. I'm Nothing smart. gets past you, boy. I'll tell you that right now. Now, let's eat the dust. Okay. I mean, ask, ask the dust. Yes. And, 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 you're, you're, and, and you're, you're beautiful in this Well, I said... He's stuttering because I'm naked in that movie. And, and it's, you know, <laughs> 
And you know, when you can give the projectionist 10 bucks to just freeze the film, it's the greatest. <laughs> No, no, and, and you and Colin Farrell, a very sexy scene, romping in the water. Yeah. Well, tell people what the film is about. Ask the dust. What the film or what the scene? Oh, well, the film, then we'll get to the scene. It's a, it's a, it's a very tempestuous, yeah. very passionate... Uh, it's a period piece, right? It takes very, place in the 30s. Yes, but it's a very sexy love story, and it's... Um, tragic and funny, and yeah. I don't want to tell you a lot, because it's a special film, and, and I don't want to give a lot of the story away. Now, how was, how was Colin? Now, how was he? Was he, was he a troublemaker? Was that his good behavior? Because he's like a party animal, isn't he? You know, I was very nervous when I was going to do yeah. this film with him because yeah. of that, and I was shocked. Yeah. I, I shouldn't say this. This is not nice, but I was shocked to see how professional, how good. He was wonderful to work no, with. I shouldn't say that. He no, was very I shouldn't say that, but I said, actually, <laughs> no, I took good. his face, too. But he was really amazing. Yeah, he was yeah. wonderful to work with. And he was um, very solidary with me. I yeah. felt very supported by him. And, like, those scenes are very difficult to do. And he was uh, very good to me. Like, for example, this time we were going to, we did a scene in the ocean. Right. And we're naked in the ocean. And You know, I remember that scene. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's the one we're talking about. But... Um, first of all, I was nervous to be naked. Then I was nervous because the week before, on the beach where we were going to shoot, some shark ate a human being. Oh. Nice. Right there. So that doesn't help the nerves. Right, right. So we had to change the location, and I'm really cold, and I'm really nervous to take yeah. my clothes off. And so uh, they were trying to cheer me up. I was really tense. Yeah. And so when it was time to go to the scene, I walk out with, you know, all these coats because it was cold. And out he walks naked, running around, jumping up and down, back and forth. And first we all screamed, but then we were laughing. No, 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 no. And then, thank God, he put his rope on because yeah. the third reaction would have been staring, but you know we you don't want to do that. that. No. Now, what is this scene here? This is, uh, now you're a waitress and he's a writer, right? That's right. Okay. And I don't know how to read. Okay. All right, let's um, take a look. I saw it tonight at the movies. I felt it. I embarrass you just being by your side. You call me beautiful at home, then you're ashamed to be seen with me in public. You're ashamed of beauty you recognize that no one else does. You're ashamed to love me. Camilla, I swear to God, that's not true. True. How? Marry me. You see? That'll never happen. You know why? Because you're too ashamed of being Italian to marry a Mexican. All right, folks. Ask the Dust is the picture. It opens on the day. Now, you're on your way to the premiere, right? I'm on my... I'll change, but I'm on my way to the premiere. You have to go to the premiere. All right, well, look, I'll let you go. Salma, always a pleasure. Thank you. You know we love having you. You're my favorite. Salma Hayek, be right back.